And our big buck's gonna be coming in any minute now. Oh my god, there's our rare melanistic. There she is right there. Look at how cool that deer is. So I was just AFK and I was watching some YouTube videos. All of a sudden I turned around and I saw a big rack come in this direction. Now I never got a chance to spot it yet, but it's definitely a nice buck. Holy, there he is right there. Wow. Beautiful whitetail. Is he honestly all by himself? Oh no, there's another buck right over there as well. I can't quite tell if it's a big one or not, but it's definitely another nice buck. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is sneak up on this buck here because it's a beautiful, beautiful whitetail and we have a pretty decent wind. Not only that, there's not very many scenarios where you have a perfect opportunity to be able to sneak up on a big buck like this. Like, take a look at this. He is on the bottom of that river bottom. We have a nice little brush row between us and him, and there's a woods right to our right side. So, like, talk about the perfect opportunity to be able to sneak up close and get in bull range of this absolutely beautiful whitetail buck. So here's where we're hunting today. We're hunting right next to where we got the almost diamond pheasant because we got a little bit robbed on that. But we're on the kind of east end of the map by Fresenia Grant. And we're by this outpost right here. We're right at this river right here by the Padavona farm. And we just spotted a big buck right in front of us. There he is, guys. He's attentive. I don't know what happened. I don't think it's us, though. I'm pretty sure there might be a bobcat somewhere nearby. And we're going to have to pull off about like a 70-yard shot on this beautiful whitetail here. About 71 yards. We just absolutely smoked that buck. I just want to get a better look at him. Oh, it is a decent buck. Got a fox call in there as well. But let's see if we can't pull out the 10 millimeter. Well, he's hit, but couldn't quite connect on vitals. All right, so here's our beautiful white tail we took at about 70 yards out. Let's take a look. Actually, the lighting here might turn out for a pretty cool picture. Yeah, that's gonna be a pretty awesome picture just like that right there. So we'll definitely not pass up that opportunity. Let's pick him up. It's gonna be a 73 yard perfect double lung shoulder blade shot and a 224.13 gold whitetail buck. And he's a dark brown as well. So this score here is kind of a rare scoring for a whitetail. Typically this rack is gonna be, you know, like 219 max. And then the next level up jumps up to like 235, 236, you know, sometimes even 240. But this is a 224.13, so it's a very cool score for a whitetail buck. And a doe coming right towards us, of course. Well, if she's going to come right to us, then we're probably going to have to take her down with the bow. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Huh. <laughs> about as close as we really want her to get oh she's already hit dude how did we hit that doe maybe we hit her i mean it had to have been when we were shooting at that other buck huh had to have been okay well i don't know where the heck he went so we're gonna go over here we're gonna pick up this doe find out what happened with that first shot What did happen with that first shot? I mean, is that not a heart lung shot there? Holy, really? <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah. In all fairness, we did not hit the heart. I mean, barely, but wow. <laughs> but to me, I would say that she was probably running with that buck and we were shooting at the buck and she ran out in front and we ended up hitting the doe. So I'm wondering if maybe we didn't even hit. Oh, no, we definitely hit the buck because we still have hunting. We still have hunting pressure over there. All right, let's get over here and try and find that coyote track. Ran right through this wide open field here. 
And we in fact have his rest zone right here as well. Till 10 o'clock. But you tell me, how did we not see this coyote run all the way through this wide open field? Like, how did that happen? Because I honestly have no clue. All right, so that coyote should be right over in this next field right here, about 250 yards away. What we did is we came in from the south side. That way we could overlook this next field, which is where he should be bedded right now. And I'm hoping that we can get high enough up here to look down this field and be able to see our coyote. Oh, got a buck right there as a matter of fact. Where the heck did he come from? More whitetail. Holy, look at all the whitetail. Oh, that's a big buck. I'm sorry, guys. We can't pass that one up. Holy, we can't pass that one up. That just might be a diamond. Tell me we smoked him. How did I not make that shot count? And why did I even take that shot in the first place? Two hundred yards. That should have been a friggin' heart shot. I don't even understand why he's still running. But okay. Yeah, guys. Pretty sure that would have been our first diamond white tail on this map. And it would have been a level two diamond too, which those are pretty cool. So we got blood right here. What do we got? Rooster pheasant. Blood rate very low. If we seriously hit that thing in the vertebrae, I'm probably going to cry. Okay, so he came down here. 50%. All right, let's find out how bad we messed up this time potential today. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. When I said heart shot, I wasn't kidding. Like, we got so robbed on that shot. It was going right for the heart, but we hit him in the back hind quarter. And apparently it couldn't bust through and come right through the center. That would have been a freaking heart shot. Come on. Wow. That's tough. That is a tough one right there. Well, maybe we shouldn't have gone for the heart if I would have just went for double lung. I mean, it was a really tough angle to make either way. And I honestly think that if we went for double lung, we would have only hit stomach. Like even if we were higher up right there, right? That's stomach. And we want to have the penetration. But had we not hit that back leg, I'm thinking it would have hit heart. I'm thinking so. Nonetheless, he's a sweet looking buck and our biggest, what was our biggest buck? 236? This is a 244. So yeah, that should very well be our biggest buck of this map. All right, so I've been trying to get this coyote for the last 15 minutes now and every time we get distracted by something. And it just so happens that we have three raccoons sitting here perfectly. So, uh, yeah, we're not passing this up. There's no way we're passing this up. But we got a doe going right towards them as well. So we got to make this kind of quick. Woo! Woo! Going down, going down, and going down. That's three raccoons going down. Look at that. All right, come on, Coyote. Where are you at? Where are you at? Got him right there. Got him right there, guys. It's not the exact coyote that I want, but it's not a bad sized coyote. He is right there. And he's about 80 yards out from us. There he is right there. Smoked him. He's going down. So that should be our coyote. All right, here's our coyote down. And he's going to be a gold. Look at that. 49.4 orange gold coyote. We're using these soft point bullets. 74 yards out made a perfect left lung shot there. 
I mean, I'm still thinking we definitely should be making double lung at 70 yards with the AR-223. Especially the fact that we didn't hit any bone or anything. But, you know what? It took him down pretty quick, so let's take a look at the coyote here. Get him standing upright. There we go. It's actually a cool looking coyote. Ooh, what did we just spot down over there? That, I believe, is our max weight buck. Uh, can you say double? Uh, can you say triple? Are you kidding me? Holy, there are three giant 200 plus whitetail in this one herd. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ever. Dude, that's a melanistic. That's a rare melanistic. No way. What is up with this herd? Are you kidding me? A rare melanistic white-tailed doe. Man, that looks so cool. I don't know if I've ever gotten a melanistic doe. Look at what we just found. Giant white tail number one, giant white tail number two, and giant white tail number three. And a rare melanistic white tail doe. You know what that means. We got to set up a tree stand there and try and call, well, everything in. <laughs> and especially like with the new spook radius now, there's a chance that we might be able to take down all four of those super awesome animals from the tree stand with a bow. Holy, this is gonna be one of the most difficult decisions of any hunt that we've ever had right here. Do we go for any one of these three absolute stunning white tail bucks? Or do we take down the rare melanistic white tail doe? I don't know. We'll have to decide when it happens. But when it happens, it's going to be pretty awesome, I'll tell you that. Dude, I just thought of something. We're back here. I just went back to the lodge. We grabbed our tree stand. And we're going to be grabbing the recurve bow. But what are we going to make it look like? I don't know, but it's going to be pretty sweet, I'll tell you that. All right, so we're going to make it look like that. We use this camouflage right here, Parquet Fernando Multicam. And since we can't camouflage the whole bow, that's going to be good enough for now. All right, guys, I think you guys are going to like this setup. But right there, we set up our tree stand pretty high up. We're a good 20 feet up in the air. And it's going to be overlooking this little valley here with this woods, which is where those giant whitetail are going to be coming from. They're going to be coming from over there and probably want to feed down here. So we got our tree stand set up right here. We're going to hop up in there. Grab a couple snacks, get cozy, and get ready because, man, we got a lot of action about to happen. I can just feel it. All right, so as we're up in here, I want to show you what the view is going to look like. Take a look at this. We could literally see 350 yards all the way down this river over to here. And there's actually another point where they can cross here as well. So we'll be able to see that pretty good. But we have a main crossing right here just below us. It's at least like 50 feet wide and then the river forks over here as well and we can kind of see out here another 200 yards that way and 250 yards that way so yeah things are looking pretty promising let me tell you what all right guys it's the next morning now we just got to the spot where i set up a tree stand and we spotted those white tail crossing the river over there but we're trying to call them just a little bit closer so we last saw them kind of cross right there. And... Well, I don't know where they went now, but they were definitely coming this direction. Oh, there they are, right there. Oh my god, they're coming in. They are coming in. Alright guys, let's get up in our stand. Holy, this is awesome. And here they come right over there less than 150 yards away the doe's gonna come in first and then the next two beautiful whitetail 
And I think there's one ultra buck in here. I'm pretty sure there's a 240 plus and that might be him right there. Holy, he is such an impressive buck. And they're definitely coming right in. We got a nice crossing right in front of us. Absolutely set up perfectly. All we gotta do now is be patient and wait for the right moment for them to come in. All right, guys, here she comes. The first deer is in range, stepping out here at about 60 yards out. And our big buck's gonna be coming in any minute now. Oh my God, there's our rare melanistic. There she is right there. Look at how cool that deer is. Um, I suppose this probably isn't the greatest time to tell you guys, but I haven't made up my mind on what we're going to do when these deer come in. Well, we better make up our mind pretty quick, guys, because we got a bunch of action here. We got our giant whitetail buck right there. A doe there and another big whitetail buck there. But that is another really good 180 plus buck. And not only that, the ultra buck is a 240 plus and he's coming in the back somewhere over there. But look at this. Our melanistic is walking out right here perfectly about 30 yards out. Man, how cool is this? Oh, look at, look at, look at. No freaking way! Our big seven coyote is going right underneath us. Oh my god, I really want this coyote. I really want this coyote. Dropped him! Yes! We dropped him, guys! Okay, that's gonna make them a little spookish. But I think we might be all right for some of them. <laughs> I told you we couldn't make up our mind. I had absolutely no clue that that was going to happen. But that was so cool. I've wanted to see like a coyote or something cool cross one of these river crossings for since this map came out. And now we just got ourselves a nice gold level seven coyote out of the tree stand crossing this river right in front of us here and we dropped him right on the spot and there goes our deer right out there there's the doe looks like she's looping back around we still have plenty of time for them to drink, guys, so. And there is one of the bucks. It looks like the coyotes actually might come back a second time. This time, we're not taking any more coyotes because we already have what we want. There's that 180 plus buck there. There's the doe. What I do want to do, though, is get down and pick up this coyote so we can put out a couple more calls so we don't necessarily need to get down to pick up the coyote but we need to get down to call more so these deer can come this direction coyote is right in front of us look at this the coyote is right there and there's all of our deer right over there all right let's go prone so we don't spook anything but they're coming across right there in front of us one two three four five six deer well, while we're waiting, we're going to pick up this coyote. It's going to be a giant 52.44 gold. Pulled off a perfect 12-yard left lung liver shot, and it's a dark gray. Our biggest coyote of the New England mountains right there. Oh, heck yeah. Let's get him mounted. Let's take a look at this sweet dark gray massive gold coyote that we took out of the tree stand with the bow. That was awesome. Man, that was awesome. All right, so now that we got him, let's get set up back on these white tail, which are hanging tight right out there. Looks like they went back to their original spot. <laughs> you guys are probably, oh, look at, there's the coyotes, no way. So the coyotes decided that they are not gonna cross here because they watched one of the biggest coyotes in the pack get absolutely smoked out of the tree stand, so they decided to take a different path this time, and it's a good thing they did, because 
Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been the greatest idea if they did it twice. But it's still cool to watch him go across. And there is our rare melanistic white-tailed doe. Which somehow we got to get to come this direction. As well as three beautiful white-tailed bucks. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to try. All right, guys. So what we're looking at right here is the biggest white-tailed buck. And we got three giants right in front of us. There's also a coyote right there. Come on. We got to get their attention. All right, guys. We got their attention. We got to get back into the stand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I don't know if we're going to reach it or not. Come on. Come on. We can't reach it. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Dude, there's deer right on top of us. Please get in. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. Just barely. Barely in the nick of time. Look at what's coming in here. They are all coming across the river right now. Holy. That was way too close for comfort. Whew. All right, so we have recurve, the recurve bow in slot three. And we have the compound bow in slot two. Now we're just trying to make a decision again on what we should do. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing, and that is trying to get the biggest of these bucks. Which, I guess, that guy just took off, so maybe we're not going to be going for that one. Ooh, this buck's coming in. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's holding tight right there. That's a good buck. He's not the biggest of the two, but he's a good buck. And he's about 40 yards out right there. So we potentially, oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. That is our giant buck that we want right there. I do believe that's our 240 plus right there. Look at how these deer are trying to work their way around us and catch our scent. Okay, so there's one big buck there, two big bucks there. There's got to be another ultra big buck. Okay, there. That's not the biggest one. This definitely here is the ultra buck and he is coming in perfectly right behind us at 40 yards out oh my god in fact if he follows that doe if he seriously follows that doe we're gonna have like a 10 yard shot and here he comes right here look at this beautiful white tail all he's gotta do is loop back around and follow that doe which is what he should do Oh my god, here he comes. He is coming in so close. He's 20 yards out. He is less than 20 yards out right there. He's going to walk right underneath us. Dude, if I could have stopped that buck right there, it would have been golden. It would have been absolutely golden, but I couldn't stop him. Talk about a sweet melanistic, though. You know, I kind of want to try and get a cool picture of that. See if we can get all three big bucks. Three big bucks and a rare. Oh, looks like one of the big bucks is actually stepping out here. On the right side. Tell you what, I am really tempted. Oh, we got white tail over there too. I am really tempted to go for this one here, but he's just a hair too far. You know, we might go for this one here. He's the closest of the three, so we might go for him. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes. He's 30 right there. So if he takes one or two more steps this direction, we'll be able to have a shot. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's a shot, that's a shot. Beautiful shot, he's down. Absolutely money. Perfect shot. Oh my god, here comes our melanistic doe. Here she comes. Hold up. She might not take off too far. This is so cool. This new spook distance is absolutely unbelievable now. It's like so realistic. It's not even funny. It's so realistic that I feel like I'm actually hunting. 56 yards out. Right there she is. How cool is that? She's going to walk right underneath us, I bet. If she does... 
We're going to take her with the recurve. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have to take a trotting shot, kind of. Unless she slows down here. We dropped her on the trot right below our tree stand. What a nice shot. Whew. Two perfect shots and two incredible animals are down. Wow. Well, the one thing is, I don't think we're going to get any more out of this spot here because they got downwind of us. So we'll probably have to come back tomorrow and try this spot again, maybe. We got more whitetail. That is a completely different herd of whitetail. Or at least... Is that a doe or a buck? It's a doe, but that is a buck. Is that our big buck? Well, I can't really tell what that is there. About 100 yards out. Dude, that is almost a shot. Oh my god, that's a shot. <laughs> that is a shot. I don't even know how we're going to pull this shot off, but that is a shot in my books. 103 yards with a perfect win, so we'll hold low on the heart. And absolutely sink one right through that hole and dropped him right there. Wow. <laughs> that was so cool to be able to take the shot through that little tiny opening right there. About the size of a pie plate at 100 yards. And we just thread and needled it right through there and dropped that buck right on the spot. All right, I don't even know how big that buck is, to be honest. He looked decent, but I don't think he's one of the, the three big ones. I know we definitely, well, we did pretty good. <laughs> Let's just say that. First off, we got our rare melanistic white-tailed doe right below us here, 11 yards out. Made a nice left lung shot. I'm actually kind of surprised that a single lung did in fact drop her. But take a look at this super sweet rare melanistic white-tailed doe. And I think that honestly might be our first ever rare melanistic whitetail doe. I think it might be. Wow. Okay. So let's definitely get her mounted. And we're actually getting a call from something else down there. So maybe we should get back in our stand. Maybe all the deer didn't come this way, huh? Where was that deer calling from just now? Unless... Hmm. I don't know where she was calling from. It seemed like it was coming from this direction over here. Oh, it is coming from this direction. Oh my god, they're right there. So, they must have ran this way and then looped back around and went back over to their initial spot. Because there they are, right there. Dude. And I think that's the giant... That's the ultra buck right there. That's the 240 plus right there. We had him less than 10 yards away and we couldn't quite pull off the shot. At least we got one of them down though. You know what I mean? At least we got one of them down. So tell you what. I think we're going to go down there and pick up this buck. And then try and put out a call to maybe get these deer to come in. Maybe. It just might work. Let's go for it. All right, so the deer are all right there at about 115 yards out. We're gonna go really, really slow and try and work our way over to this buck. Talk about an epic shot though. Look at that arrow right in the heart. Man, that was perfect. And let's actually get a super cool picture as well. Just like that, that's gonna look cool. But not only that, I'm thinking we might be able to get this buck and those deer in the background as well. Let's see if that works out. Uh, it's not going to work out. Never mind. But still going to look super cool just like that right there. And maybe one more just like that. Okay. Now, let's pick him up. It is a heart shot, dude. A 32-yard perfect double lung heart shot on a giant 231 gold 
Gold whitetail buck. Look at all the points on that thing. Let's take a look at that shot. Absolutely perfect shot on that buck. Like, if you want to say smoked, you really couldn't say smoked much more than that right there. Double lung and heart shot at 30 yards. Whew. Beautiful shot and a beautiful whitetail buck down. So that's definitely the second biggest buck, if not the first biggest one. So we well, might have honestly taken down the biggest one out of that tree stand, which turns out to be pretty awesome. All right, so the rest of the whitetail are still over there. Remember, they're about 100 yards out, but we still got to get their attention to be able to get them to come into range. As we look behind us here, you can see that's where we took down that other buck, which should be laying right out over there. Oh, what am I spotting? Oh, that's a completely different herd of whitetail way the heck over there. That's where we got that big one from this morning, which should be laying right down behind that rock right there, I would imagine, so... But anyways, don't worry. I'll show you guys where the spot is uh, located here in a little bit. Right now, we got to worry about getting these deer lured in. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw what we just did, but a lot of times if the deer aren't reacting to your call, what you have to do is kind of get them a little bit spooked. And then what happens is they come out of their nervous state and then they want to come towards the call, which is what's happening right now. First, the doe is going to come and then the big bucks are going to follow just like that right there all right so there's one big buck and there is the biggest he is coming right in perfect stopping right there about 70 yards out but because this doe is still coming in that means these bucks are gonna follow and get way closer so now we're not gonna call any more and we'll just let them work their way in and get as close as they possibly can for a nice shot. Now I might take this one down with the compound bow depending on how close it is. But right there is a tough angle for 50 yards. Oh, this buck's coming in good. Look at this. Ooh. He's definitely in range, but he stopped at a not very good angle. Let's just say that. Oh. 50 yards. That's a shot. I'm taking that shot. Oh, he turned on me. No shot. No shot. How far is that? How far is that? 34 yards. Perfect shot. Smoked him. He's down. Hold on. There's a buck coming through here. Yeah, that buck's gone. But again, he might loop back around. We had an opportunity. We had a couple of seconds. We were at full draw. He was 30 yards out. And we went for a heart shot. And we had to take it. So that's what we did. And he's down right there. I don't know if that's the biggest of those two. But it's definitely another good one. That's for sure. All right, guys, let's hop down and go take a look at our other giant white tail buck. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the third and final buck. So for now, we're going to go over here and pick up this beautiful white tail. Look at that. Tucked it right behind the front shoulder. Perfect. Slightly quartering away shot there. And just absolutely smoke this nice white tail buck. All right, let's take a look at him. He's going to be a 216 gold and pulled off a beautiful double lung shot out of the tree stand there at 35 yards. He's a tan color. I think the last one was a dark brown, right? We had a dark brown and then uh, I think there was a light brown, but this is a tan colored here, so... We'll take a look at this one. I like this color as well. Good mass. Good points. It's a great buck. Good mass. Good points. That is a great whitetail. Great, great buck. 
Well, I was actually kind of curious as to where our buck is that we took at 100 yards, but then I looked over there and I saw our tracer flashing. So sure enough, there's our buck right there. I was seeing this in one of my videos in the, well, when this map first came out, and that is, these deer blend in so well. Dude, look at, there he is, I see him now. He was right behind that rock, but they blend in so well with these other rocks here that you can't actually see him. We had to have walked right past this buck. Look. Look at that. He was right behind that rock. And somehow we never even saw that buck. But here he is. Right here. It's going to be a 101 yard spine and left lung shot so pretty awesome shot a little bit high but honestly where we came out was almost perfect because i mean 100 yards is a long ways so yeah that's a pretty good shot i guess what i'm trying to say is it's pretty cool that we hit so high on the entry but the exit actually busted through the shoulder and spine and came out the top of the opposite lung like, that's pretty cool. And a ton of penetration as well. Wow. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.